you know, Peroxide is probably the only game where two days after release, I'm already making a Bankai tier list. People in this game, or more specifically my friend, he already has his flame Bankai and I'm still like level 100. I was a CC tester for like six months. Anyways, you clicked on this video for a Bankai tier list, slash he got a tier list, and that's what you're gonna get delivered to you, fresh, off the source, in your mouth. And I'm not even gonna, like, delay it. We're gonna start off, and the first she guy slash Bankai we're gonna be talking about is going to be Explosion. And I also wanna say this at the start, this is going to be my opinion, so if you disagree with it, you're probably wrong. And, um, yeah, the tier list is absolute. The developer DM'd me and he said, it's like, this is the best tier list, even though I'm, I'm, I'm making it as we speak. Yeah, and we're actually gonna start off with Explosion now. So, if I'm being honest, everything inside this game is very good, and I feel like even the comments have like some type of work. So, I'm going to put Explosion in B tier. Now, the reason for me putting it in B tier is mainly just because of how reliable it is. And when you really think about Explosion, nobody wants to use this because nobody wants a common inside of the game. But the Explosion Bankai, if you actually do get it, you can revive yourself. And reviving yourself basically allows you to have a whole extra life. And I feel like I should also make this clear while the video is still early. I'm going to be ranking this for both PvP and PvE. So the, the rankings are going to be uh, obscure to like both sides. But Explosion for PvP, it's definitely not going to be the best. The problem is that your skills for your Shigai specifically are just kind of hard to hit. You have one that's like um, these auto tracking bullets, and I I'm not even sure if it's auto tracking. I'm 99% I'm sure that it's mouse aim, but you have these mouse aim bullets, and then you have a leap, and your other skill is just like a jab forward. The skills don't cover much AoE for something that's explosion, and then when you also relate this towards grinding, it's just not the best for grinding at all, too. It doesn't do that much damage, even if you go like a crazy high spirit build. You can probably do more damage if you just go a natural strength build and use some of the regular skills that you get. Explosion is decent, and that's good because it's a common, so you can't really expect the most out of it. Now we got Wind. Wind is like mid, you know? Like, imagine using air to breathing in a she guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually going to put Wind in front of Explosion in B tier. And I guess I'll start off with PvP for Wind. Wind is actually pretty usable in PvP. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you really would be surprised. But when it actually is usable inside PvP. So mainly for the three she guy skills, your whole entire kit is mainly just going to be like a triple gale slash, which is exactly what it states. You're gonna have a counter attack, which actually reflects back whatever your opponent sends at you. And then you're also going to have a basically reskin of the move cyclone. It's just a tornado up tilt skill. Now the counter attack, mastering it does allow it to last longer and it's actually pretty good because you can use the counter attack and if somebody's doing like a grand racer or something at you, you can easily just redirect it back depending on how long your counter attack lasts. And I feel like a counter attack definitely does put it above explosion and it definitely does deserve to be above explosion because it's just more usable in PvP. Now Wind also doesn't have like the craziest AoE. But the Bankai passive is pretty good. If actually no, the Bankai passive is pretty goofy to me. How it works is if you're inside the air, you actually do more damage, and the Bankai does allow you to double jump. So I guess it's telling you to use your skills inside the air, which isn't really going to help you hit a person, because unless you land like an uppercut on them and then you're inside the air, you're not really going to be in the air fighting somebody. So when this like cool or whatever, if like if I'm being honest, it's, it's nothing crazy. And the Bankai like main skill is just like a combo. Kind of reminds me of like the beast skill from the beast res inside Peroxide. But when honestly, it's just another a common. You can't really expect much from it. And I feel like that actually does fit it. And now we have lightning. Now lightning is one of the 1% for um, Sheikas and Bankais for Soul Reapers. And if I'm going to be honest, I wanted lightning until I rode Glacier two times. Two. Lightning, I'm not gonna lie, this Shikai is probably more so geared towards PvP. The skills for lightning actually are 
very very good now the first two they both are kind of just like combo extenders one of them is kind of like a rush that brings you up inside the air with them and it just allows the lightning person to combo extend off of it and it also kind of works like one of flame skills where if you land it it does allow you to use another lightning skill and teleport to the person with it so it's basically guaranteeing you a combo off of hitting that person and the other one is kind of just like a dash type of skill that does damage but lightning also does have like like buff kind of it gives you teleporting m1s and like a lightning q dash it's just that it takes percent of your hp over time now i feel like that's a really fair trade-off and it actually is pretty good so off rip i'm actually just going to probably put lightning in like what i'm gonna say back of s tier or maybe actually just s tier raw right now like if i'm being honest the only downside that lightning would have inside this game to me is just the fact that most of his skills aren't geared towards like hitting a lot of npcs or pve like when you're fighting wrong or npcs or stuff like that but it honestly is still really good and if you go a lightning strength build you'll be doing a lot of damage like a disgusting amount of damage lightning is honestly something very 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 good inside this game and i personally want it over glacier because i'd rather strike somebody with lightning than with ice lightning is definitely an s tier the only downside that it has to me is the fact that it just can't grind that good and now we have probably the most common she guy is going to be gravity now gravity recently was reworked and honestly it is so good to the point i'm honestly going to put gravity over lightning now gravity you really can't go wrong with it I personally have it above lightning now I don't see lightning users as often as I see gravity users so it could just be like who I'm fighting against and seeing gravity users PvP it's just that this whole entire she guy is just very 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 good like you you cannot go wrong with it it excels in both grinding and PvP I've used the gravity she guy the most inside this game because I was grinding for a majority of my levels with it and honestly it just makes things so much easier the fact that if they're inside your bubble you can just use your skill and pull them to the center of the whole entire domain I'm, I'm just gonna call it that and then you could combo extend off of that as well it's honestly just nasty and if you go like a gravity spirit build and then you just do so much damage with your rocks and there's like three different variants that you can use for your rocks it's honestly just a very good chi guy and then like the gravity user the bankai honestly just makes it so it's like can't even up approach the gravity user so like when you use the bankai the two passives that it gets is that the first one is that the user gets low gravity instead of having it only inside the gravity field and what this means is that the user is basically able to just like super jump anywhere that they want and the second one is like an asteroid belt around them which pretty much means that you can't come near the person and and won them so at the time of me recording this video gravity was actually nerfed and it was kind of nerfed in the way where it is not going to be an s tier anymore for me so yeah the tier list honestly what i would say is to just put gravity in a tier the nerf that they did for it is they basically cut the damage in half from one of the skills and it's the skill where you pull them inside the center with all of the rocks and they also made it so that you lose like your super jumping passive now this is me recording this update on the 22nd of 2023 so unless they rebuff gravity as of the 22nd of 2023 gravity is going to be put in a tier instead of the tier list and at the end of the video it's probably going to show um everything being inside s tier but I'll, I'll i'll fix that for the end of the video and now we actually have clone so i might as well say this as well i'm making this video on the 21st of 2023 and clone actually might be getting a rework soon but this is currently me ranking the clone that isn't reworked and the clone that isn't reworked if i'm going to be honest it's honestly just very good i'm gonna put it behind lightning or honestly i feel like lightning and clone are interchangeable but clone is very very good now this is good for both the grinding and pvp i feel like but if you don't have the bankai it probably won't be that good for pvp if i'm just being completely honest with you because in the 1v1s game mode even if you have clone there's like a marker above your head so if you use clone to like confuse the person 
the person who's fighting you can literally just see the marker above your head and know which clone you are. So it kind of just makes the swap skills useless. But for PvP, the NPCs don't know that. So clone honestly is pretty good for that. I was also using clone for a decent amount of time when I was grinding myself. And it honestly does just work really well. It allows you to like get the pressure off of you with the NPCs. And if you just put like 100 into spirit, then go the rest into strength. You can do like a semi-decent clone build. I wouldn't recommend this for like the Bankai. Like if you're actually getting the clone Bankai, I would suggest that you just go like a full spirit build so you can just easily, you know, use your Bankai the way it's meant to be. To summon a perfect clone of the player that you're fighting. And that skill instead of the Bankai is honestly very good because it is essentially a eternal 2v1. You're summoning the person and now they have to fight themselves along with fighting you. That is very good for PvP. Very good. And now we're moving on to fire. Now fire, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like this, this tier list probably looks goofy as hell because it's really just me putting everything in like S tier. But all of the Sheik guys in this game are very, very good. Like every single Sheik guy is good. And I am going to put fire. Honestly, I'm gonna put it in front of gravity. Fire is extremely good inside this game. The burn damage is just annoying. And the only issue that I would say I have with it is that like the she guy skills are just a little bit underwhelming now if you land like the flame pillars you can use another fire skill and extend off of it it's just that if you land the flame pillars like the only fire skill you can really extend off of it with is just going to be the tornado which is another cyclone reskin type of skill so it's not the best if you're just using the she guy but the bankai i'm not gonna lie this is probably like top three bankai inside the game it is so good it is extremely good the skill that you have creates a gigantic flame tornado that summons clones or my bad it summons skeletons and not only that you also have a skill or like one of your passives in your bankai to summon skeletons with the low cooldown and the skeletons are just annoying because when they hit your opponent they just explode and put burn damage on top of the person if i'm being honest fire is probably one of like the best bankais inside the game if you get it and you use it, you would definitely understand why I'm like hyping it up to this extent. It is extremely, extremely good. And that also makes it good for PvE. You really can't go wrong if you use fire for both grinding and player versus player. So it's like, if you get this rare, you could keep it. But 99% of gamblers actually do end up not subscribing to this video because they didn't take the gamble of if they're going to get better content inside the future. That's me doing my little YouTuber thing. You should subscribe, please. And uh, yeah, yeah, now we're moving on to the final Bankai slash Shiga for this tier list. And it's going to be Glacier. And I'm honestly going to put Glacier. Um, Honestly, I don't know if I should put it above fire. Yeah, my bad. I had to talk to my PR team. Yeah, Glacier is definitely one of the best things inside the game. It is honestly just annoying. Now, the passives inside the Bankai makes it so like if you hit somebody, one, you're applying freeze, which is just... I mean, they're frozen. <laughs> what can you do? Two, you also have a counter attack called Yukazuke. And I probably pronounced that wrong, but I don't care. And a counter attack is a counter attack. You don't take damage for it. And you also have some type of freeze effect on your feet that allows you to just make the person walking on it get slower when they're near you. Plus, the skill inside the Bankai, you can't really do anything about it. If you're inside the AoE for it, you're going to get hit because it's literally just like planetary devastation from pain, but just with ice, it, it literally drags everybody in and then just does a gigantic ice explosion. And not only that, the skills for the Glacier Sheet guy too are just extremely good. Like one of them just makes a gigantic ice flow, which does pretty much burn because if ice is too cold, it starts to burn you. Somebody probably knows what I'm saying, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Essentially, it's just going to start ticking off your HP like it's a fine flame effect the longer after standing on the ice. And I'm pretty sure you can also combo stand off one of the skills. Plus, the skills are super easy to land. Ice, Shikai, and Bankai are honestly just really good. Now, this is the revised final tier list. So this is also after like the post gravity nerfs that I that you hopefully watched inside the video. Um, this is actually going to be my tier list now. And I honestly do like the look of this. I feel like after the clone rework, I could you could definitely put clone in front of lightning. The only reason why it's behind lightning is mainly just because clone's pretty useless in PvP besides being annoying. Like it's not like the clones are giving you any other advantage because people can literally see where you are. And after that, 
the gravity just like you can literally just walk out the bubble now so much easier and it's not like you're going to be doing a lot of damage even if you stay inside the bubble yeah gravity's pretty balanced ish now and that's just tough wind and explosion um wind's pretty decent so is with explosion i don't think i'll have anything below like c tier because everything inside this game is genuinely good like you can use everything it's just that there's definitely a skill gap between the a and b tier and s tier which makes sense because this is a tier list video so let me actually know your tier list below since the sheik guys are still inside an early stage inside the game i'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing other ones inside the future like maybe flower hopefully or ink because that's also another cool element for a sheet guy and outside of that hopefully you enjoyed this video um and comment your trailers below because i actually do want to see that as well